We've gathered in this place to witness the marriages of Tracy and Katrina, Ron and Anthony, Marcus and Gemma, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. Some of us may believe in the sight of God, others may believe on the basis of reason and justice. But all of us are here to protest unjust laws by which the state has seen fit to determine whose relationships are valid and whose are not, and the university has failed to take a convincing stand against. We're here because in 2004, even though Australia at that time had no legal obstacle to the marriages of any couple on the basis of their gender, a law was enacted that changed the definition of marriage by restricting it to a man and a woman. Doing so flew against Article 16 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which says that all people without any limitation due to race, nationality or religion have the right to marry and to found a family. They are entitled to equal rights as to marriage, during marriage, and as dissolution. And we are also here to draw attention to this university's mistreatment of transgender and gender diverse students by not recognizing their true name adequately. Traditionally, I would now ask anyone present who knows a reason why these people may not be lawfully married to declare it, but since we've had 12 years of that, <laughs> and religious leaders lecturing us about their views on whether we do or not have that right, I suggest that you keep it to yourself <laughs> and allow by couples to come and address you about what this means to each of them. Who was 
very loving and giving. And you enriched my life incredibly. Um, my life got better and better and better for every year I've known you. And I anticipate it's still going to keep getting better and better. Every year I was in that will be with you. Everybody in marriage, everyone in my present good times and the difficult times. And being with you helps me get through the pain in difficult times and gives me hope and desire to go forward for good times. They say, you're lucky if you meet someone who fall in love. I had no idea I would fall in love so deeply as I am with you. I will spend the rest of my life loving you, caring for you, cherishing you, and being your true heart forever. You are the light of my life. Be my wife. Because that's what I love to be like. 
I take you, Anthony, with equal love to my best friend and travelling partner on a pathway that isn't always straight and easy, and even when we don't know where we're going. Together we'll continue to share all things, serving each other in fellow humanity and challenge injustices and fight for equality for all because that's what our love looks like. I assure you that your name will always be safe on my lips. I promise you loyalty even when, no, especially when you're wrong. <laughs> Let us be friends and lovers and grow old disgracefully together because that's what our love looks like. And actually, on our first ceremony in 1993, we had 120 friends and family there. My, my family there, Ron's family there. Since then, in one year, my sister died, and then four months later, I had another sister who passed away, and then four years later, my brother died. My parents have both died since then. Ron's grandparents have died since then. We've lost a lot of our friends since then through HIV. So I would have loved all to have been in our wedding and they would have loved to have been there as well. And that's been taken away from us. And it's so cool. It's so cool and needless. Us getting married tomorrow, the world will still turn and it will just be a nicer, happier, better place. That's that's what I really believe. So I will never ever give up this fight. Never ever. It's not just for Ron and I, it's for all LGBTQI people in this country. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.